Well, uh, we are here at the IPEA Congress in Utrecht in Holland and uh, one of the speakers today is uh, Dr. Davor Sutidja from ThinFilm Electronics, the Scandinavian company listed on the Oslo stock market. Um, uh, Davor, what can you tell us first of all about ThinFilm? I know there's been a lot of buzz about you in the press and so on for, for quite a long time now and it seems that you are very close to I don't know if I should call it a breakthrough, but uh, it's really re commercializing your ideas now. But first, tell us a little bit about the company. Um, well, ThinFilm is a Nordic technology company with uh, R&D that is centered in two locations. One in Linköping, Sweden, where we've developed uh, printed electronics that can be printed roll to roll, the same way that you print other types of packaging. We also acquired in 2014 um, a site in San Jose when we bought the assets of Covio, a technology company founded in 2002 with the objective of printing NFC labels. The combination of the NFC technology that was developed by Covio together with the printed electronics roll-to-roll -roll technology of the original ThinFilm is really making 2015 a watershed year for the company. We have launched our first products um, in the wireless space with anti-theft tags, and already this quarter we will be uh, shipping to market um, commercial quantities, uh, six, seven-figure quantities of NFC labels for both anti-counterfeiting uh, applications, but also consumer engagement. And for us, this is a very important development as we start commercializing printed integrated systems. This has always been the vision of the company, even when it was founded back in 1995. Yeah, 1995. It's been some time, actually, but that's the way it is for, for intelligent and new companies. It takes time to reach the market. But now you're actually there. And is it right to say that you're a global leader in this? Well, absolutely. And uh, in terms of the evolution of the company, um, there have been a couple of pivots. I mean, from 95 until 2005, the first decade, really it was in partnership with Intel in trying to commercialize polymer memory for um, rewritable memory applications in electronics. Mm -hmm. Then in 2005, there was a very important pivot where we saw that printing would be a way of extending electronics to new domains. So going beyond ordinary silicon-based electronic systems to those that are based on logic, memory, printed displays, printed sensors, printed batteries, and putting all of those things together to create unique electronic systems with a functionality cost ratio that is um, very different and in many cases superior to what you can be achieved with conventional electronics, especially in disposable applications such as packaging. And I mean, uh, price has always been a matter when it comes to this technique. It's too expensive to put on a milk carton, for example. And maybe it still is, but will we, will we come to that uh, situation where we can see this technique also on milk cartons? Well, um, I think that you will see it on ordinary packaging already um, in 2016. And let me give you some examples. Uh, a year ago, we licensed the thin film memory technology to Xerox. So if you go to Xerox.com, at least uh, right now in uh, uh, November of 2015, you'll see that on their landing page of their corporate website, um, they have the thin film memory as a Xerox product. Xerox, um, thin fill memory, Xerox thin fill memory with uh, cryptographic security. These are solutions that are intended for medical packaging and also as a potential tax stamp application. So wherever you have regulated packaging that you have to show that taxes have been paid, the combination of the printed electronics and the cryptographic security that Xerox's other technologies provide is a unique solution that will be, in fact, taken to market in high volume in 2016. And when I say high volume, Xerox is putting in place over one billion units of memory production in Webster, New York, near Rochester, already from second quarter of 2016. Now, that's only one of the products we've taken to market. Together with our Dutch partner, NEDAP, we have also taken to market a unique anti-theft tag, an electronic article surveillance tag. This is based on the Covio technology we acquired that allows um, a tag to be built that once it's deactivated it never comes back to life. 
there's a significant problem with source tagging in the retail industry that you have what is known as tag pollution, that when you wash an article of clothing or you bend footwear, that the tag that has been deactivated in the store comes back to life. With ThinFilm's unique technology in partnership with NeedApp's um, fast uh, anti-theft systems, you're able to avoid tag pollution and we are um, we have shipped over 10 million of these tags uh, to the supply chain of one of the world's largest fast fashion retailers. So that is the second product that we've taken to market. And now what I'm talking about today at AIPIA is really that third wave. And that third wave is the emergence of NFC as a wireless standard for interacting with physical objects in the world. When Apple launched Apple Pay last year and Samsung in March of this year launched Samsung Pay and with Union Pay in China as a third alternative, all of a sudden NFC became the way that we use mobile phones for payments. So the same way that 10 years ago, the mobile phone went from being a communications device to being a browsing device, we're now at the beginning of an inflection point where we're gonna go from user-initiated browsing to the smartphone becoming your intelligent agent. So it actually interacts with physical objects in the world and extracts information. That information will be first whether something has been previously opened, whether it's authentic, information on how to use the product, but eventually it will also include sensing applications. Is the beer cold enough to drink? Has the salmon been stored appropriately? And other information based on sensing of the world around us. This is what we call the open sense platform and something that ThinFilm has developed um, and is taking to market with selected partners. At Mobile World Congress in March, together with everything, we announced um, the Smart Connected Bottle. This is a Diageo product uh, on Johnny Walker Blue. Mm -hmm. um, three weeks ago, we also announced a partnership with Ipsimate in um, the medical device industry. And this quarter, uh, we're exceptionally proud of shipping to our partner in the Australian wine industry, OpenSense for use in protecting and authenticating Australian wine from Fern Grove that is being shipped to the Chinese market. Unfortunately, in China, about 70% of red wines are not authentic. So allowing Fern Grove at the appropriate cost point to be able to tell its consumers that they have an authentic product that has not been refilled and also provide consumer engagement to allow the brand to interact with the consumer is an incredible uh, opportunity and one that we're very excited to be participating in. Very interesting. It's, I'm very happy to hear that it's going so well for you now and so good because we have been waiting for this we in, the, in the packaging business, actually, absolutely. Uh, so shall we take a look at the, some of the examples you're talking about? Exactly. So the first thing I intended to show was the actual technology itself, and then I'll give in a couple of examples uh, where it's included in, in a product. And here you have two NFC tags, and you notice that there's a conductive trace next to them. On the one on the left-hand side, the conductive trace is continuous. On the right-hand side, it has been broken because, for example, the package, the bottle that had uh, the tag um, as part of the packaging um, has been opened. Mm -hmm. So using uh, an ordinary NFC phone, an Android-based phone, um, you can then determine... This open sense tag is still factory sealed that you can see that the that the factory seal has not been broken and has been maintained. This open sense tag has been opened. And now you can see that it's been opened. But more this importantly, this open sense tag is still factory sealed. This open sense tag has been opened. This open sense tag is still factory sealed. This shows that it's extremely quick. In fact, in an optimized setting on a production uh, line you can in fact read these tags in much less than 100 milliseconds. That means that this is the only NFC solution that is compatible with the speeds of packaging, 8,000 an hour, 16,000 an hour, for the types of bottling plants uh, that we will be delivering this product to. So the ability to not only be able to uh, allow consumers to tap with their smartphones, but also in the supply chain to be able to efficiently record the unique IDs on the different bottles allow you to measure 
um, very quickly uh, the disposition of your products in the supply chain. So let me now then turn to a couple of different examples of products that are using uh, ThinFilm OpenSense. And these are prototypes that we've made with two leaders in their industry. The first is in the drinks industry, and the other one is in medical devices. So first, let me um, share with you um, the Connected Smart Bottle. This was uh, launched at Mobile World Congress Barcelona 2015 in March. And uh, together with Diageo and our software partner, Everything, ThinFilm has created an NFC-enabled smart bottle that allows the consumer to interact with the bottle and understand, number one, uh, information in the buying mode on, for example, what distillery it was distilled in and tasting notes and other ways of differentiating this particular fine scotch from others in the marketplace. Now, after the bottle is opened, you can then identify that the consumer is in a consumption setting rather than in a buying setting. So you can actually differentiate and, and market specifically to the interest of the consumer depending on whether the bottle is opened or not. And in the open setting, then you can give mixology information. Once the consumer has self-identified, of course, as an adult in both settings, but also identify that they're a consumer of the product by opening the bottle, then you can give information on how to create a personal library, that means a bar that is stocked with different Diageo products, um, and, and record tasting notes and, and uh, information on the drinks that one has, in fact, put together in one's bar. So that is the Smart Connected Bottle. Now, three weeks ago, in um, October of 2015, we also announced a medical device, and this is called uh, Ipsomate. And this is with one of the l world's leading innovators in medical devices. Uh, Ipsomed is a Swiss company, um, over 1.5 billion Swiss francs market capitalization. And they're one of the leaders in devices for injectable medications. And one of the characteristics, I would say, of the injectable medication market is that the patients have to self-administer these medicines. And in order to do so, they need to get guidance on proper administration. So in the closed state of our OpenSense NFC product, you can get information on how to properly administer the drug. Then, once you've opened it and once you've injected yourself, a second tap can record the time at which the medication was taken and then relay that information to your medical caregiver to make sure that you're complying with the appropriate protocol. In many cases, one of the leading causes for poor outcomes is a lack of compliance. So whether it's fertility treatments, chemotherapy agents, or other single-use uh, injectable medications, uh, the Ipsomate platform, together with ThinFilm's uh, NFC OpenSense product, really revolutionizes how you're going to create smart medicines. A and we're very pleased to be working with Ipsomed in creating this new generation of smart medical devices. Okay, thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, thank you again. It's great to be at AIPIA and uh, to talk to um, your, your interested readers. Thank you very much. Cheers.